Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode on the Adults Play Java server. My name is Throlash. My name is Throlash. I have a cold, so I'm talking a little funny. Don't don't mind me. <laughs> uh, we are here in our little dungeon area thing with our villagers and our, our farms, which are relatively okay. They're, they're just doing all right. You know, it's fine. Uh, our sugar cane farm has been doing pretty well. I still need a creeper farm somewhere. Uh, we've got our spiders going, and there's, there's a decent amount here. You know what? I might keep some of these alive because uh, OB is trying to take on a, a, a ocean monument right now. And then we have this thing, and I love this thing. I absolutely, absolutely adore this thing. The problem is it's too good. I just cleared this out, and I've got pumpkins everywhere. I We just have, we have so many pumpkins and melons. I just came down here and converted all of these into melons, it's it's an issue. It's an absolute issue. So we've got to handle storage, and we got to handle storage fast because I am just throwing things down wherever I decide to put them, and that is not a good thing. Another thing is there is some shenanigans afoot. I'm not sure what this testma is, but uh, they're apparently watching, and this isn't the only place that they're watching. That's right, folks. Out here in the shopping district, if we just go ahead and plummet into our little farm, or farm, <laughs> coral shop, uh, we can see that there's a couple of signs here. And this is new. I've never seen this before, but most likely, more like Octopus's Jail. And then over here, we have Free the Fish. This uh, message brought to you by Tesma. I'm not really sure what this is, but uh, let's see what's let's see. You have been warned. You've been violating the rights of the sea life. We at Tesma are willing to look the other way in exchange for compensation. Place two diamonds in the barrel across the street for from Oh the Irony next to the anvil. In exchange for these diamonds, we at Tesma will happily label you a friend of the fish and distribute flyers for your coral shop. Decline to pay, and we will use every last waking moment to slander and badmouth you. Choose wisely. That's um, interesting. That is extremely interesting. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll have to think on that. I'm not entirely sure what, uh, what we're going to do here. I'm really glad that they have potentially not found this, uh, which is under here. By the way, don't, don't tell them this is under here. See, and I'm not even a good member of SAS here. There's a, there's a trap door and everything. But, uh, yeah, we have a, <laughs> we have a, a nice... Yeah, there's farms for everything going on here. This is built by Blends, and it has been cooking away. Uh, yeah, we've got to actually manually feed these guys. I should probably get up there and do that at some point here. And there's a spider spawner. But yeah, we'll have to do something about the Tesma situation, but that might have to wait another day. And I'm just over here checking on sales. And not a single diamond. All right. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Now, over here, this is OB's new shop, and this does terracotta, some ice, a couple of little odds and ends here. Um, let's see, actually, ice. Ooh, it's packed ice. Three diamonds a stack. That's that's not that bad, actually. Uh, I believe this is just OB's, OB's shop. Yeah, not bad. Um, so, terracotta diamond, or stack for two diamonds, glazed terracotta, some sand. Oh, I didn't even see. There's sand right there. Nice. Um, and if you're looking for any specific color that he doesn't have, just let him know, which is great. Uh, I believe I showed you Quick Mart and then the gigantic beehive, um, which is gigantic and beehive-like. It's just absolutely insane how cool this thing is. Um, I wonder if he got a Tesma. Can I go, can I go down? Am I smart enough? I'm probably not smart enough. Let's see. Feel free to go in with the bees. Look, don't touch. Close the door, Thrillash. Huh, I don't see any signs over here. Let's go this way. Do we have anything here? No, I don't see anything here either. Well, that's, uh, that's interesting that not only is Testma not going against one of the Mythic Exile members, they're also using the Mythic Exiles location in order to get payment from me. Hmm. Oh, and another development. Uh, Frank has has passed. Frank has passed. However, 
Uh, the Mythic Exiles appear to be blaming us, which is completely not true at all. Um, we've, we've given options of, uh, we even, excuse me, what's his name? Blendscraft, the, the gentleman right over here, has uh, even donated iron in order to save Frank, and Frank didn't make it. And to remind people, the Mythic Exiles are the ones that put Frank out here. The poor guy. So uh, I think if anybody's to blame, I think we know who it is. What else have I been getting up to lately? Well, this. I have put the beacon down at Y11, and uh, currently it just goes straight up to the sky. I don't even have a glass block up there. I should probably put a glass block up there. <laughs> but I have been slowly, uh, absolutely destroying this 50 by 50 by 50 by 100, or however the hell long it is, <laughs> area. And... Um, I got, uh, you know, a decent amount of stone, and some stone, and then some more stone, and then all of this, which I'm super happy about. Uh, let's go ahead and figure out how many diamonds we've got right here. Uh, go ahead and switch over to my fortune pick, and I'll stack these guys up. And we'll just go ahead right at it. Oh, look at that, a nice 43. I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. Oh, that's awesome. This is the most diamonds I've had for a while. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and put them safely in the ender chest because I think we're down to a three. Yeah, so that brings us to 46. Man, almost out of stack. That's great. That's great. Now, something else that I've been working on is not this at all. It's actually this. I've got some skeletons for the mountain range here. Um, I, I, I think I'm going to do this decently I, i'm not really sure <laughs> this is my first time making mountains but i'm um, taking a lot of inspiration from uh cub fan 135 on the hermitcraft server as well as f whip um and i i learned about f whip from a youtuber pixel riffs uh and and he's kind of like the mountain guy <laughs> if you will but uh yeah i've just kind of got a, a base skeleton here for these here mountains um, I'll go ahead and be using the dirt and such that I got from digging all of this out to build these up. I am a thousand percent sure that I'm going to need more dirt in order to do this. Which, if you can, if you can even fathom the amount of dirt that I've dug up, and to say that I'm going to need more is sad. <laughs> it's quite sad, to be honest. But, uh, yep, such is life. So we've got these mountains going. And uh, I kind of have to make a decision on uh, what I want to do today, to be perfectly honest with you. You know what I think I'll do while I uh, try to figure out what I'm going to do today? I'm just going to just gonna build some roads. Just build some row ads. It'll be fine. We'll just mind-numbing task until we figure out what exactly we're going to do. <laughs> One thing we are going to do today is restock sea pickles because we have completely sold out uh i know that rod i believe mrs rod as well are trying to light up the area around a farm that they have so they are in need of some sea pickles um i am also going to hey look i made a fish i'm also going to um add some emerald pricing to every one of my shops because we have uh, somebody on the server here, um, the mighty Pen Pen, who is doing what's known as the Emerald Challenge. And what that means is they are not going to be using diamonds at all. I don't think they actually even are going to have diamonds in their inventory. Um, so I'm going to work on... That is not an ender chest. <laughs> I am going to work on changing the prices for all of my shops to include emeralds. And here are the price changes for the quartz shop. So we've got the quartz pillars up there and the quartz down there. Awesome. So the quartz shop is all changed in its prices as well. So anyone who decides they wish to pay in emeralds, that is totally fine. And I feel like I should do something about this. I feel like I should do something about that. Let's go and take an unnecessary rocket shit, rocket trip Yeek. to the piggy. And uh, let's gather some supplies. Whoa. <laughs> that is a lot of chicken. Oh, my gosh. I saw one when I came out of my little hidey hole cave. Oh, hey, creeper. 
Wow, I didn't even get a get a creeper hisses for that. Huh. Weird. But any Oh, he must have been up there. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is a lot of chicken. <gasps> oh, that is a lot of chickens. <laughs> We've been chickened. Oh no. Oh jeez, I don't even know what to do here. I feel like I should get like a flaming sword and take them all out once they grow up. Uh, jokes on all of you. I'm gonna keep all these chickens here so we don't get any more passive animals. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Oh jeez, I'm gonna have to. This is gonna take so long to get rid of them. <laughs> I had to come out here to get some cobblestone because I need some uh, droppers for what I'm trying to do here. You know, I should probably pick some of this up and try to quote unquote rebuild a little bit i guess <laughs> but man that is a lot of chicken oh boy we are not going to be hungry for a while that's for sure well i just got back here at the shopping district to this it, this is the tesma picket line apparently um <laughs> Uh, killing more coral than Negan. This would be funny to me if I watched the show that they're referencing. <laughs> Stand up for the fish. Who will watch over the sea life? Uh, down with the octopus's garden. Down with greed. I didn't even have time to retaliate. I didn't even have time to respond. And they've they've shut down my shop, essentially. Um, so I found out who did the chickens. <laughs> Enjoy your new free-range chickens. And that's just the start. Um, here's a problem, though. There's only, like two fish left <laughs> so what i was gonna do was i was going to set up a clock with um i was gonna see i don't think this is true if this will work or not i'm not 100 percent sure but i was going to see if i put a daylight sensor under here with a piece of carpet on top of it i was going to see if it would still register the sun um and if it did i was going to have it shoot out some free range organic uh fish food but to be honest, at this point, um, all the fish are gone. So uh, I think what I'll do instead, Testma, um, if you're watching, I hope you're watching, is I'm going to go ahead and scoop up these little guys, and I'm going to bring them back to the ocean. Um, I won't be using fish anymore for any of my advertising in this shop, uh, just because it looks like, you know, you were, you were right, Testma. You were right. This shop was dangerous to the fish. And uh, what I'll do instead is I'll try and... Uh, see if there's a way that I can get the fish population from where I brought them back to back to what it was before I uh, stole a bunch of fish out of that coral reef. So, Tesma, I hope you're watching. Um, I will do better. I will do better. For the environment and for the aquamarine life, I, I will do better. So, yeah. Please don't pick at my store anymore. <laughs> but a nice new development in the shopping district besides, you know, boycotting my shop, um, is Witch Please, it's a shop by Blends, who is a member of SAS, I will say, uh, 1692 Salem Way, oh, that's cute, um, Witch, Witch, <laughs> Blends, you're now a witch, Blends made a witch farm, wow, that's what they're called, and he's selling swampy and witchy things, which is totally awesome, because, um, yeah, Redstone is gonna be really nice to be able to get renewably, and, ooh, gunpowder too, I forgot they dropped those, don't they? And uh, clay balls, nice, and oh, it's my favorite flower ever. But yeah, this is a totally awesome little shop done by uh, Blends Witch. <laughs> He's not a witch. <laughs> done by Blends. I would suggest going and checking out his episode when he made this. It's super, super cute. You can barely see it, which I love, to be perfectly honest. Uh, he's done some cute little stuff over here as well. It's just such a great little shop. Go check out his episode. You can even see how he made the witch farm because it's easy to do in the early game. You don't have to dig a whole perimeter. He's digging a tiny perimeter, but not one that I would, you know, nothing mumbo jumbo esque, you know? So, yeah, go ahead and check out that. And I think I might have showed this off already, but this is OB's shop. And he's selling. Yes, I did. He's. I think I did in this episode, actually. Uh, he's selling a random assortment stuff. So, we'll probably uh, come back here and. and eat up some of those items in the near future, I'm sure. I gotta get these idiots out of here. I mean, these uh, pickets, picketers out of here. Uh, this, is, this is bad for business. Not that really business was that great to begin with <laughs> in the quarter shop or in this shop. But uh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta find a truce with Testma. Folks, I tried. I, I really honestly tried. Uh, I just 
Tes- Testament, drop these chickens in this barren wasteland where there's no seeds and there's barely any 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 grass to punch to get seeds, and they all perished. Every one of them perished. It was a tragedy. They didn't even check to see if I was willing and or able to raise so many free-range chickens. And alas, I was not. And this will not stand. I'm going to march right over to the shopping district and uh, let the good people of this server know that Tesma, although they may be looking out for... seem like they're looking out for animals. Let me put it that way. They are absolutely not. And uh, you shouldn't just uh, go ahead and dump you know, random wild animals into uh, someone's property and expect them to take care of them without talking to them first. So, unfortunately, they all perished, and uh, I was able to collect their drops. And I'm going to take this moment to turn this tragedy into something good for the members of this server. I'm going to uh, erect a memorial for the chickens and also give back to the server members, unlike Tesma who have just decided that uh, the server members need to be plagued with responsibilities that they'll be in no way, shape, or form be able to, uh, to, to commit to. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I believe this is a memorial that is fitting for the innocent, foul lives that were lost this day. Uh, if we just take a, a, a flyby here, we can see the, the, the stone chicken in all of its beautiful glory and its wonderful plot. Uh, it's a beautiful plot of, of memorialness that uh, has been erected here this day for these these poor innocent chickens that were lost. Uh, I've even written a little book, and I should probably put it back to the beginning. So, dear fellow server members, this is a memorial to the dozens of chicken lives that were lost directly at the hands of Testma. These poor souls were dumped in a foreign land without a scrap of food to nourish them with. I throw lash. Did as much as I could, but in the end, I had to stand and watch in horror as these kind, innocent birds started to drop one by one. I decided to erect this memorial to, to these tender creatures for all to see, as well as do a kindness to the server by pro- providing you all their nourishment so they lovingly they so lovingly left behind for us, even when they were given nothing. This memorial stands for peace, love, and tranquility for all wildlife. The chickens are lost, but they will never be forgotten. Young and tender fowl, full of youth and hope, wrongfully discarded in inhospitable lands, forever will you stay in our hearts. And here are the poor, innocent chicken remains that have been left behind as these chickens starve to death. Anyone on this server may claim any of the remains that they wish. I have no need to look in them and be saddened further from Tesma's horrible, horrible deeds. And so here I am at the Testma picket line, and I have to say to you all, leave. Leave my innocent shop where I am actually a good person and I enjoy the lives of animals. I have brought my fish back to the ocean and I will plan on repopulating the coral reef that I have been uh, borrowing coral from so that the fish may be able to thrive. Whereas you, you all just drop innocent lives in inhospitable lands and expect them to survive with no help whatsoever. Be gone, I say. Be gone. Well, unfortunately, folks, that is where we're going to have to call it for today. Testament really threw a wrench in our plans for the episode, but that's all right. I feel like this uh, memorial to the the poor lost uh, chicken souls will will stand the test of time here. The test of Testma, if you will. If you won't, uh, too bad. That's what I said. (laughs) Uh, But yes, thank you so much for uh, joining me in this episode. Next episode, we're going to get into even more shenanigans. I can feel it. Uh, I don't think Tesma is going to sit idly by and and, um, just allow me to throw accusations at their horrible misdeeds, uh, about their horrible misdeeds, excuse me. But uh, make sure to like the episode if you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe and ring ding that little tiny bell, and we will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.